Alright, hello there. I'm gonna give a quick guide on how to get the offline mode in my app up and running. Uh, forgive the quality, OBS doesn't like ultrawides very much. Uh, anyways, uh, for the most recent version of my app, you can go over here to Releases. You can just snag it from right here. The offline rewrite. Get the version in question for your computer. So in this case, I'm on Windows. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of files here. Uh, just extract these to a folder somewhere. I've already done that. As you can see, my files are here. So with this version of the app, it's uh, very simple to get in the offline mode. You just run it. And then at the top here, you download the latest files. This will take just a second, not too long. I already had the files, so in the middle there, delete sealed files to make sure you're completely up to date. And once this finishes, you will have the option to go into your settings here, and then you'll be able to turn on offline mode. And then bam, you're in offline mode. You can swap between offline and online at any time, whenever you want. Seize that toggle, you're good to go. Now, for the older version of my app, which is anything below here, in this case I would probably recommend this one. Uh, it's a little jankier, but it still works. So, you'll download it, extract it somewhere. I've already done that here, as you can see. Uh, for this version of the app, before you even start the game, you want to go to Resources, and then Update Game. Uh, this should be an option on Mac and Linux, but I never actually got them to work very well on Mac and Linux, so uh, your mileage may vary. Anyway, you launch the update. It'll check to see if you have Git and Node, and try to install them. If it fails for some reason, just go manually install these. They're not that big of a deal. Anyways, you've got the prompt to install or update Pokerug, and you'll just say why, and it'll download the files. This won't take super long, but it'll download the little files, they'll just go in this folder here. You don't have to worry about them. Uh, this will also give you the option to install one of the type calculator apps for offline mode. But we're not going to do that in this case. Alright, so see, do you want to install the type calculator? Uh, we're just going to say no for this. And ignore the warnings, they're fine. Alright, so now that we have the files, we can go back. And then this will just work with PokeRogue offline that bad. It'll start the server. It'll take just a minute. Uh, as you might be able to tell, the old version of the app starts significantly slower. Uh, there you go. You're now in an offline mode. So that is how you access offline mode in both versions of my apps. Uh, for online mode in this one, you just run the exe like normal instead of using the bat. Anyway, yeah. Enjoy.